introduce and start, because this is your show. We're going to let you run this. Uh, I'd just like to introduce myself. My name is John Finney. We've got Albert Sweetman here. Uh, just before we get going, I'd like to say that we're pleased to see so many people in here. But, you know, the request of the organizing force masters really came from the floor. It came from, from everybody wanting to uh, to to do what we're, we have going in Oakville and what we have done going in, in Lakeshore. And Albert endorses the, and I think you do have experience of Toastmasters, it's been known as Toastmasters, and I think you enjoy the program as well. So that's all I want to say. Albert, do you want to say a couple of words on, on Toastmasters? Well, uh, just that uh, I've never been a member of Toastmasters, however, I know the organization very well, and I think it's a, it's a very good organization to belong to, because, uh, and I look around the face, faces and I see mostly people who are aspiring to upward mobility in the company, is the way I would put it, uh, and this is an excellent way to do it because it gives you an opportunity to uh, learn how to speak in public, gives you an opportunity uh, and how to organize your speeches, how to structure your speeches so that you can capture the audience, and as you know, a very big part of our business, and I can can attest to this, but a very big part of our business is new business. Continual presentations to clients uh, on a weekly basis and a monthly basis to keep them monthly reporting process. And this is the sort of organization that will build these skills for you. In addition to that, it's going to give you a strong self confidence within your own private life where you can speak at weddings, at functions, at family gatherings. You can say grace publicly. I know a lot of people who are actually shy even to just say grace at a meal when there's a huge family gathering. So it, it, it'll develop within you an additional confidence, self-confidence in yourself, um, so that you're able to present publicly. Um, it's a great organization, and every time you say, I'm a part of the ring a bell, I wonder if they still do that in the present post class, as they used to in the old days. Uh, but it's a good, it's a good organization, so company supports it, I support it, and yes. you should participate actively. Not very much. And it's here, it's there, so. Thank you. I'd like to say a few words too. <laughs> That's a good idea. Let's have our existing Toastmasters stand up and give a Thank testimony. You, uh, that was very encouraging and very nice of you to speak up, and we like the corporate sponsorship and commitment. And um, obviously, it helps with with you know our colleagues and people who work at Associated Development to to know that it's supported by our senior management. That's how. Second point I want to make that Toastmasters requires commitment. Like I know, like it's I compare it to going to the gym. When I go to the gym, I'm like, oh my God, it's so hard. I don't want to go. But then. You view the end result. You look at the goal. It's, you know, it's good for me. It's good for my health. So postmaster is just like that. It's going to require some commitment. It's going to require some work on your part, some preparation. But in the end, the results are good. So and I can uh, really attest to that. Thank you. Thanks, Najma. Uh, Do you guys want to say anything? Bulent or Jayesh? Yes. 
fail. You have a fantastic presentation, but they will never forget how you started. So this is a good lesson to everybody that before you do a presentation, make sure you've done your homework, all of your gadgets are in place, you check them out, they work, and everything runs seamlessly. So plan, prepare, plan. Vincent. Albert, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you for capitalizing on this great opportunity. And in fact, you future Toastmasters have just um, used one of the well-known gifts of Toastmasters is that you were gracious. You exercised grace while I was up and running. And so that's what Toastmasters are famous for because when someone begins to learn how to be a public speaker, they don't always do it right. And so we just have to sit back and let them do the best they can and we clap after they're done. So being gracious is one facet of being a Toastmaster. Now I'm just gonna fast forward. So I'd like to welcome you here on behalf of the Lakeshore Toastmasters Club. We have a great club running. We have uh, 20 people and growing all the time. And I just want to uh, just give you an overview. How many were here uh, 10 months ago when, when we were here? Okay, so Toastmasters is a, a, like a double-edged sword. It's leadership and communication. And so when you, When you become a member, you get a new member packet, and in the packet are two manuals, a leadership manual and a communications manual. And in the leadership manual, you have 10 assignments, and these are the assignments right here. And then also there's the communication manual, and you have 10 assignments here. And as you can see, the first speech is the icebreaker, and we have two people here who are ready to do their icebreaking speech. Personally, I'm on number nine. I'm not do, do, do my tent to inspire your audience. And a lot of my speeches you can see on YouTube. If you go to Emerging Speakers on YouTube, that's where I post a lot of my speeches. But I'm not good yet. Just note that. I'm just learning like everyone else is. And so, but I want to just leave you with one tip. If you can learn this one tip, not only will it help you in your public speaking, but it will help you in your personal life. And that is to become influential as a speaker. Become influential in your one-on-one -on -one relationships. All right. If you can develop how you interact with other people, develop like a stress-free way of being around other people, then it will be less stressful when you have to give a presentation. And so, how do you be, how do you improve your one-on-one -on -one relationships? May I suggest that you start by reading good books? And here's one good book right here: How to Win Friends and Influence People. Read it through once, and then read it read two pages every day just to keep your social skills sharp. So that's a tip that will help you as a speaker and in your personal life. And that's the hotline. If you have any questions about Toastmasters, call me on my cell anytime, and I'll be happy to answer your questions. And also, we have the camera running. Uh, how many know who Pierre Duham is? Pierre Duham is the uh, senior vice president of the m, m division in Montreal. And when I was speaking to him in April, over here in Oakley, Mississauga, he said he'd like Toastmasters to see themselves on video after they speak so they can learn faster. So that's coming from the top. That's why we have the camera running today. Uh, if you're not comfortable with the camera and you want to speak, raise your hand and <coughs> Boulent will pause the camera. One final question. What would you tell the world if you could say it effortlessly, convincingly, and with passion. Think about it. There's a lot you could say, and that's what we're aiming you toward. So let's start our meeting. We have Rami, who is Rami, Rami will come on up, and you are our chairperson, and <coughs> we'll give her the weapon to start the meeting with. Okay. Oh, first of all, no, 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 you don't. First of all, we always shake hands. 